What's YouTube there? Back to your video in today's YouTube video, man. I'm gonna show you case these guys this brand new Proto Man's weather mod update, man. 0 0.14.0. Only thing I gotta say, guys, that this update is so so good. It's incredible, it's unbelievable. It's the biggest update this mod has ever gotten. This mod has gotten so much better. And uh yeah, it just fully just put the nail in the coffin for weather two at this point. Even it, it already did like a long time ago when this mod first came out, I already put the nail in the coffin, but it now put it down in the grave, put dirt on top of it, man. This update day is actually insane there's so many new features new graphic and his mod man new features new blocks new mechanics new thermodynamics new wrist system new config settings there's so much we're gonna be going over in this video man make sure you guys stay tuned because this is about to be insane now like i do for all my mod reviews my all my mod updates i do have timestamps in this video and in the description down below if you guys want to go ahead and skip to a specific part of the video or specific feature and uh yeah beforehand get to this video guys make sure you like button subscribe button this is about to be insane now beforehand get to these blocks right behind me i'm just gonna go ahead and read everything out in these patch notes because these patch notes are packed with insane features and brand new changes that you guys need to hear man so like i said got timestamps so if you guys want to skip through this you can now let's go ahead and read these patch notes because there is a lot so we got brand new soundings new thermodynamic overhaul weather balloons balloon platforms sounding viewers connectors risk outlook has been changed to three days instead of one the one day peak risk indicator we got new precipitation types sleet freezing rate and wintry mix oh my goodness guys we have gotten sleet wintry mix and freezing rain now in this mod absolutely insane especially if you guys are living in type of a cold colder biome it, this would be lovely for you guys you have new have sleet and ice layer blocks they were behind me but uh they, they decided to melt because look at the biome we're in we're in a jungle so they're, they're going to melt got new reinforced glass blocks and pain snow fog is now in the game new lunar lining on clouds the new graphics i was talking about earlier in the video all right guys we now have a maximum tornado whiff config now finally man i've been wanting this feature for since the mod release man i want to get natural weathers to spawn and now you can go all the way up to maxed out to 800 blocks in the config i'll show you guys that in the later in the video i'll also show you guys these brand new block recipes at the end of the video as well got new command variants the build to command i'll show you guys that uh later on in the episode basically you can command a storm to spawn in but you can tell it what stage to go to you can do the same thing toward tornadoes as well i'm pretty sure and that's all the new additions now going to the changes squall lines now have a better spawn chance during cold weather so this mod is going to be peak with serene seasons now serene seasons is about to be be one of those mods that you guys have to install with this mod just to get the full potential out of this mod. We got brand new snow particle texture. We got larger tornadoes are a bit more common now. Tornado width and wind speeds are smoothing out to the client. Tornadoes last longer on average. Rain and hail core relocated on supercells. So yeah, we got brand new supercells in the game, guys. I'll show you guys that as well. The rain is not in the right spots. The hail is in the right spots. Now we got proper RFD now. Fall damage on tornadoes are more common. All blocks have broader damage curve. Rain shafts are rendered differently now. Large enough tornadoes are forced to rope out now guys to the fixes storms no longer have a cutout around their edges service side fix for storm class improved third party add-on support wind sounding volume bug which caused all wind sounds to play at 10 percent volume and waffle sky fix as well now this waffle sky happened to me a couple times with storms like colliding with each other kind of got glitched out especially with squall lines and now that has been fixed as well a lot of whole new changes now we got one removal which is the risk outlook map so yeah guys that's it for the changes and now that's a lot of information to be going on in this video but that's what this is what my review is because we're going to be going over everything in this video all right guys so the first blocks that we're going to be going over is the reinforced glass block and the reinforced glass plane block now these guys these blocks are just glass but they're reinforced they're more sturdy for tornadoes so they survive up the higher wind speeds now now to see what the wind speeds can go to on these new blocks you can go hit slash key on your keyboard and type this command in right here guys pm weather block strength pm weather hole and sign and reinforced glass and hit the enter on the keyboard and as we can see that this block can withstand 163 mile per hour wind speeds which is absolutely insane we'll be going over the block recipes and because i don't know hopefully these things are not too expensive to craft because i kind of want to use this on my house they couldn't be they can't be that expensive for the glass pane it's 133 miles per hour so it's 30 miles per hour lower than the regular glass block there which is pretty pretty cool now for the weather station no it's, my, it's been in the mod since release on with the weather station now you can now see the three day risk the first day it looks like we have an enhanced risk the second day we have a marginal risk and a 48 to 72 hour risk is three days we have a marginal risk so yeah barely any storms coming through but the risk peak maybe you can actually see the risk peak and nine minutes so this would be the highest the risk would be for today so all right guys next blocks that we have is the sound viewer block and the balloon 
platform block. Now these are combined blocks that you guys need to use to use the brand new weather balloons and the connectors. You, you guys need four items. Now for a sounding viewer block, this basically shows the display to see the, uh, the data you get from the weather balloon. So you can see the temp, the dew point, the parcels, the cape from this uh, screen that you get. I'll show you guys that in a second. Now the balloon platform is where you put the balloon on and then it will fly away once you put the balloon down on it. Now the connector is what you use to connect both these blocks together and the weather balloon that we have right here. So we can go ahead and use the connector block to connect these blocks together, I think. So yeah, we press the connector on this right block, the balloon platform, and then we hit the connector on the sounding viewer. So I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to do it. And then put the weather balloon on the top of the balloon platform and yep the balloon is now gone look at it fly up in the sky it is gone it's, yep that balloon is is far gone okay there we go we're getting some readings now i think the the red line is the temperature the green line is the dew point and i think the white line is the par so i'm pretty sure that's how it goes i'm not really sure i'll, I'll pin a comment in the comment section below if i uh, messed anything up so i think that's how it goes but yeah basically uh that balloon is far gone i don't think you're gonna be able to retrieve it it probably just despawns at this point there is a lot of information you can get off of that balloon now guys the next blocks over here not really blocks but there's ice layers and sleep layers now this is from the ice and winter remix the freezing rain that we're going to show in this video as well and uh yeah yeah, since we're in jungle by mail and last long they end up melting pretty pretty quick so yeah that is some crazy blocks now this is some in insane features that you guys need to have in your minecraft especially playing survival man this will make your survival world way more fun now and now guys i think it's i think it's time to go ahead and jump into some storms i mean i'm pretty excited for so i hope you guys are excited for these storms too because these storms these brand this brand new storm update is incredible all right guys we will also show in the new lunar lighting on the clouds uh the brand new graphics in the mod as well when we spawn in our natural storm so all right guys i'm gonna show you guys this brand new build 2 feature now now you can go ahead and press this build 2 feature while you're uh, typing in a command and like i said earlier in the video it basically tells the storm when it spawn the max stage it can grow to or the designated uh stage that and energy that you guys want it to be so with this storm i'm gonna spawn in, i want it to be a stage 2 max 99 energy now i don't think this is going to give us a tornado it'll give us rotation it'll give us a hail core and it'll give us the new brand new rfd i just made it midnight the moon is fully out as you can see guys look at these clouds guys these clouds are so much easier to see now you can actually see the rain downpour and this is now the game's cloudy it will react to that it'll be a little bit harder to actually see all the clouds but if you guys are in a, a partly cloudy section of your world and the moon's fully out you guys can really see these clouds so yeah you can see that rain downpour all the way in the back down there and uh, yeah all of these clouds are fully seeable all right here we go there is our rotation starting so we should be getting our rfd in the distance here i think it will be right there we can already kind of see it growing right there let me try to get on the side of the storm here yeah you can really see it now yeah you can see the rfd but i don't know if we're saying it's an rfd or not now you can actually see the brand new graphics guys look at the graphics oh my goodness it's a little bit like more of like a lighter tint some of you guys may not notice it but it feels like, it feels like the game is lighter so we got our rotation right there as you can see it does show up on the radar but we do have rain over and off in this direction which does not show up on the radar because it hasn't been implemented on the actual radar yet so we're gonna have to wait on the future update for that but let's go ahead and fly so we already know what's going on in that type of storm but yeah guys we're going ahead right into this rain i don't know what you call this like area over here i think i think he called the rfd we come right through this yeah as you can see it's starting to rain yeah this is a nice implementation in the mod oh my goodness yeah that, that that's insane i can't wait till this actually gets imp implemented into the radar too because i want to see how big this way we're getting hail over here oh i was wrong i was wrong i was wrong i was wrong get spawned by the rotation anymore i think it's just where this rain down poor is i'm so wrong i'm sorry so i'm so sorry guys so the rain in the hail core is all the way over there so are we getting hail over here by the supercell now oh is that two supercells that we have okay so yeah we're definitely gonna have to wait until that this uh mod gets updated again so because i want to see this on a radar on a radar it looks sick so are we getting any hail in inside the rotation anymore let's see let's see let's see oh we're not yo that's insane we're just getting rain and okay so all the heavy stuff like the rain and hail will be so all of our rain and hail is over there and or in the storm we can actually really see the tornadoes now oh my goodness that's that's insane that's incredible all right guys before we go ahead and check out the new snow freezing rain and wintery mix i want to go ahead and uh spawn in a tornado just to see if anything changed about those how they look there is gonna do a you can see so you can do the build up command for tornadoes too we're not gonna do that all right look at this tornado oh my goodness this is this is a 150 with tornado i guess so i guess they did make tornadoes a little bit bigger so yeah guys we do have way better graphics now on the tornado 
and I don't know if the performance got better with this update. I'm not really sure. I don't really notice anything different about the performance. It's still probably going to be kind of hard to run. But yeah, guys, look at that tornado. My goodness. That tornado is crazy. All right, guys. I have teleported us to a small, a snowy part of the map. Should be pretty cold over here. And uh, I just want to, I just want to see the freezing rain in like the new wintery mix that we have uh, with the mod itself. So wait, the snow is melting. I'm even type in the command. The snow is already melting. What the heck? Okay, I don't think the snow is melting over here. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, I did a stage one supercell of 99 energy. Let's try that. Okay, so we are not snowing. It is raining. Okay. Oh, look at the snow fog. Look at the snow fog. Here we go. That's what. Oh, you barely can see anything. You barely can see anything. You barely can see anything. Okay, so you won't get it up here, but if you go over here. Oh my god, yeah, you can't see anything, bro. Yeah, that's that's insane. Look at the snow fog is absolutely unreal. So here's our wintery mix, it looks like. So we're getting snow and rain at the exact same time. Oh my gosh, dude, this mod is insane. And the storm is moving away from us. So we gotta go ahead and follow that storm. Get the new snow particles too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is in, this is amazing. So how do we get the sleet? Alright, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna spawn in a tornado and see if that changes anything. I doubt it does, but alright, guys. These spawn in a tornado it game. You can't see anything in the snow biome you cannot see anything in the snow biome oh look look, look, look look guys look 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 oh my gosh we got the new sleet so it is a wintery mix right now snow layer the sleet layer and the ice layers too oh that's insane look at this wintery mix we got it finally let's go all right we cleared the weather out oh my goodness guys look at this this is insane. So when you're in a cold biome now, you actually have a higher chance for squalls too. So I think that's really all the new features for the storms. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. And we still have the block recipes and the, the uh, maximum tornado config to go to go over too. Wow. That's that's amazing. All right, guys. To get to the config, like you go to the mods right here. You look up Proto Manly. Find it, press config, and now you're in the config settings. Tornado with right here. So right now it's 375 is the max, which is which is decent. It's decent. But guys, we can make it 800 now. 800 block wide tornado. That's a little wedge. But uh yeah, 800 is the max. That, that is a pretty wide tornado. That is a wedge for sure. And it'll definitely do some damage to your Minecraft world. But that's where you change your maximum tornado with. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at the crafting recipes for these brand new blocks in the game. Now for the reinforced glass block, you need this need of city in the middle. That's that's not bad at all. That's not bad. It's just a city in the middle for eight pieces. Honestly, that's pretty good. It's pretty easy to get obsidian. Just need a diamond pickaxe. It, I mean, it'll take a long time, but that's really easy. Not bad at all. Reinforced glass plane. That's even. You just need reinforced glass like that. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Now for the sounding viewer. You need a redstone comparator. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. A couple redstone torches, a redstone lamp, and some iron ingots around it. So yeah, you just need glowstone. So yeah, you will need to go to the Nether and get some glowstone, and then get some redstone as well. So you're definitely gonna need a little bit of a mining trip and another run there to get this. Now for the balloon platform. It's a pretty easy block of iron. You just, need, you just need a lot of iron and redstone in this mod. Got the connector. Pretty easy to make the connector. You just need a redstone torch and a copper ingot. Really, really simple. And for the weather balloon, you need, need some type of wool, some string, some iron redstone. That's it. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video, man. This update is 10 out of 10 update from me. Now, I wish I knew more about the, the sounding viewer and stuff like that, but I'll definitely let you guys know in a pinned comment in the comment section down below if I find anything else about the sounding viewer. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much watching man hope you guys enjoyed the update but before you guys install this update make sure you go ahead and back up your worlds too because i want you guys world corrupting just in case the update does break your world but yeah guys thank you guys for watching hit your subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out